What's up friends? Welcome back to my art vlog. I am Tracy L. Turner and today I thought I would do something a little bit different with this video, taking a cue from one of my YouTube artist buddies, Marnice Nicole. This video is going to be just a random facts thing, okay? So if you want to get a little more personal with me and learn some random shit, just keep on watching. you're having a good week it is nighttime here right now and so if I sound a little bit hoarse or look a little bit sleepy or tired it's probably because it's late and I should be lying down right about now but here we are so let's kind of dive on into just some random little nuggets about me okay um I do have a couple other things that I'm into other than art i will call these things specifically hobbies because painting doesn't isn't or at least it doesn't feel like a hobby to me but uh, i am a very casual video game player <laughs> i used to play so much more when i was a kid i mean every day hours on end just total geek about it but now, not so much, definitely since becoming an adult and taking on responsibilities and just being way more focused on a bunch of other things, uh, my usage of uh, video games or playage, um, <laughs> my relationship with video games right now is just very, very low priority, but I do pick up the controllers every now and then. My favorite types of games to play are typically fighting games. They're just so much easier to pick up at this point in life. You don't really have to be engaged with the storyline at all. You can play a few matches and call it a day or you don't even have to play against another human if you don't want, you know what I'm saying? Just play against the computer, adjust your difficulty and go. <laughs> so yeah, probably the fighting game I played the most Will probably it's probably along the lines of a Street Fighter or Marvel vs. Capcom, something like that. Uh, I do enjoy RPGs, but again, I don't. I usually don't have spare hours to dedicate to a game like that. Not that I used to. If I do have extra hours, it'll either go towards some sort of art task or hanging out with buddies or just spending that time on my own doing whatever the fuck so yeah yeah I also know how to crochet I just follow patterns I'm not good enough to create my own little things but but yeah if you give me a, a, a book of crochet patterns or whatever I could figure it out and and make something my mom taught me how to do it when I was just a young pup so yeah, uh, let's see, I'm kind of reaching here because there isn't a whole lot that can really get me riled up. But um, just off the top of my head, I'll say that dishonesty is probably really high up there. I get extremely bothered by that. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I consider myself somebody that uh, highly values honesty and I do try my best to be honest with those around me and as straightforward as I could be while still um, practicing a level of tact you know what I'm saying so when that isn't demonstrated towards me it really just grinds my gears and I have a really hard time wrapping my head around that and understanding that because to me it's just a very basic very easy or sh in my mind it should be a very easy principle to hold close to your heart and to practice in your daily life so when I discover uh, someone or a situation where someone is not being fully honest with me or 
uh, has me under false pretenses or something like that, that is just, it, just anger levels <laughs> to the top. It, I mean, really zero to a hundred, for real. So if you're out there and you know me, just be honest. <laughs> And we won't have any issues. <laughs> if I were to ever to have the idea or the time or the gumption to write an autobiography or a memoir or something like that, I would probably call it Hindsight on Fleek. <laughs> Shout out to my BFF Nikki. That is kind of an inside joke <laughs> between us. I have never had my fortune told ever in life. I think for the most part, that was something that I never really understood and wasn't fully sure if it was real or not. So because of that skepticism, I always was just a bit, um, just, just not really into getting my fortune told at all. Because I mean, what if it is kind of real and they're opening up doors to kind of figure out <laughs> these things? I don't know what you communicating with or what you allowing into my life in order for you to read the future, but uh, keep that away from me. Uh, that was kind of how I used to be. I think now, considering how things are for me, I probably would see about it because if it really is kind of real, then yeah, please nigga, help me out because a bitch is struggling. Let me know what the fuck has been to happen because the not knowing ain't cute no more. I kind of just need to know. <laughs> just, we don't even have to go that far into the future. Just like, let me know how things are gonna go like a year from now, maybe five years. Like, help a bitch out so I can <laughs> know if I'm on the right track. That's all, that's all. Just need some little confirmation that what I'm doing isn't totally for shit. All right, well that is all that I have for you all today. If you like this video, please give it a like. Let me know down below if you would like to see me do more videos like this where I just get a little personal, keep it a little light, and give you just some insight into who I am and the shit that I like and like to do, you know? So yeah, if um, all goes well and you want to see more of these, I'll just keep it as an ongoing series that I'll just have as a playlist and you can check that out whenever you like, okay? So, all the plugs now. So, Instagram, definitely follow me on there if you are not already doing that. My handle is at Tracy L. Turner. That is the platform that I use the most, I would say. I post works in progress and I they're kind of like mini blog posts about certain pieces sometimes and I'll post funny shit or just whatever. I try to keep it pretty fun and it's just a little handheld gallery for you to check out my work whenever you like. So be sure to follow me and check out my website, tracylturner.com, where um, I also, I actually updated the gallery section of my website, so the artwork should be a little better organized right now, and I just added a few of the more recent pieces, so if you haven't seen those, definitely go check that out, and uh, my blog. My blog is on my website too. I love to direct you guys to that because it gives a much more in-depth look into some of the work that I do and what inspires some of the series that I've started. And, and I mean, sometimes I'll even chat about some of my personal life or what have you. So if you haven't gotten caught up, I hope that you will. And it's good. Check some of the older um, posts too. I, I think it becomes kind of interesting to see the journey along the way. Uh, yeah, so go check out those things. 
and if this is your first time seeing me hey what's up how you doing <laughs> definitely feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay in the loop join the circle of friends and stay in touch and you can get to see all of the newer videos that I do and stay in the loop you know what I'm saying so yeah so everybody that is already in the circle of friends hey thanks for supporting good to see you again hope you enjoyed this video I will see y'all down in the comments and yeah I guess that's it have a good week and I will see you in the next video y'all bye